Hello there, this is Kale here doing some uh, testing with the new 50 plate electrolyzer and the method that I have come up with uh, let's first of all, let's zoom in here we have 83 degrees on that pegboard so that would be the ambient temperature Good little thing, now we got a power strip here, we're using the grid in a vehicle you would use an inverter inverter to change over to 120 volts AC. I'm going through a rectifi rectifier. This is a variac. I'm sorry, a variac. This is temporary. Uh, we're setting the voltage at right a little over 100 volts. And I'm going through a full wave bridge rectifier that's on top of the PWM, and I'm converting that voltage over to DC. And I'm going through the pulse wave modulator pulse width modulator that we had specially made for us this is a um, we're pulling what just a hair over two and a half amps I've got my duty cycle all the way up my current limit three quarters of the way and my frequency three quarters of the way it is going from there we got a little fan making sure that it stays cool into the cell I currently, and it's a 50 plate cell, dry cell, just bought from um, Fuel Cell LLC. Thank you, Drew. I appreciate you uh, setting me up with this. Uh, it's coming out to be nice. I've got 103.904 volts going into that cell, DC. In that cell, we have a mixture here. It's a pretty nice 50 plate cell, as you can see. And at 104 volts is just a hair over what's actually needed for 50 plates in the HHO standards. And we have good output coming up. Uh, this is a bubbler that I made from a radiator uh, overflow from O'Reilly's for 8 bucks a piece. Now, I, I just couldn't go wrong trying it. So I got that coming out. I got it coming down through here. And uh, I think for two and a half amps, I think uh, according to the electrolyte and how I measured it, and I'm only pulling two and a half amps, I think that's a substantial amount there for a uh, four cylinder fuel economy improvement. That would be my opinion. Now, I don't have my. Um, LPM gauge set up as I'm not happy with this tank. I may have a leak at the top of that where that cap is On the tank, so I'm not ready to test LPM yet. This is the first time fired up This tank this system has been running for 45 minutes and currently On the wall we have 84 degrees ambient temperature the tank is 113, 109, sorry, 116 degrees with the water level on the tank, 117. But most importantly, we have 95 degrees, 100 degrees at the cell. So I don't think we're stressing out the cell any. And the input side of the cell on the side, 100 degrees towards the bottom where it's coming back in. That'd be logical because the tank's warm. But the top of the cell on the side is 85. And I am showing 107. I got it, dear. 100 degrees at the cell. So we're not in any critical... Uh, temperature here it's been running for 45 minutes I don't foresee that it's going to get any hotter unless I do one of two things crank up the voltage or make the electrolyte a little heavier but I think for what I'm doing here I'm getting a good bit of HHO As you can see 
All right, that's it for this video. I don't want to make it too long. 103.6, two and a half amps. There's my settings for the PWM. There's my full weight bridge rectifier. I'm using a Variac just temporarily to cut back on the voltage. I don't want a full 120 volts going into it. This uh, will be replaced. The grid line voltage will be replaced by an inverter that hooks up to your 12 volt battery. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure. Tune back in. I'll have another one.